I had a bit of a cold over Christmas, so if I still sound nasally, I apologise, it's because I'm full of snot. Hey guys, it's Jamie, and welcome to my 2018 year in review, look back on the year, my own personal little rewind. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be shit. So the biggest thing that happened to me in 2017 was that I got engaged, and the biggest thing that happened in 2018 is that I got a penis. Very, very different things. What I decided I wanted to do from last year is make yearly videos like this, just wrapping up all the good and also not so good stuff that happened, just all the big stuff that happened to me each year and have a chat with you guys about it. It's mostly stuff that I would have talked about, but this is just everything in one place. And before we get started on 2018, let me just tell you, it's been a big year. It's been a stressful year, it's been a busy year, it's been just very, very full of stuff. It's been a year. <laughs> so the very first thing that happened in 2018 is that Sharba and I kicked it off with an engagement party. For those of you who don't know, Sharba is my fiance. We've been together for a long time and we got engaged in 2017, hence why it was the biggest thing that happened to me in 2017. And at the beginning of 2018, we had an engagement party. And the party was actually done, it was something we wanted to do, but it was done as part of a TV documentary that we were filming for called Bride and Prejudice. You can watch it if you want, but it is hella cringy and awkward and just no, uh, maybe don't. But the engagement party itself was beautiful and a really special evening. And it was just the first time that Sharp and I were like coming out as a couple and celebrating our relationship with people who had taken years to accept our relationship and years to talk to us or meet me and all of that stuff. So it was a really big milestone for us. It was a very important thing. Then exactly one week after the party, I had metoidioplasty surgery, which is a form of lower surgery. For those of you who don't know, I am a transgender man. If you want to know more about the surgery that I got, there is a link down below in the description box and I actually got the call giving me the date for the surgery a day before the engagement party so I had like very very little time to physically and mentally prepare my head was all over the place with the engagement party and the filming like it's really intense for me a documentary I might make a separate video on that if you guys would be interested it is like intense and then suddenly it's like oh yeah you're gonna have like this really big surgery in eight days and I was like oh my god yay but oh my god what the heck I'm terrified I had surgery on the 13th of January and basically ended up staying in hospital for a week because shit went wrong. All worth it in the end, everything's fine now, it's all good, but it was a very very scary time and Shalva being the beautiful person that she is, slept, like literally slept in a combination of hospital chairs and the floor with loads of duvets and everything for an entire week because she didn't want to leave me by myself because I was not in a good way and she's just so fucking awesome and I don't deserve her and you guys should definitely go check out her channel if you want to and send her some love because she's just the most amazing person. Then we came home after a week and the recovery was rough. Like, I'd had to have a second surgery, I was exhausted, so was Shaba, and we just moved house mid-December, which is why it's not in this video, because we moved house in 2017. Everything was still a mess. The house was a mess, I was a mess, Shabba was a mess, everything was a mess. It's a mess, mess, mess. Just so messy. And we just laid in bed and watched Friends. I was peeing through a tube and waddling around like a penguin who chat itself. It was then quiet for a bit. I turned 24 in February. My brother and his girlfriend got engaged in February as well, and he asked me to be his best man, which was adorable, and I'm very honoured, but also very scared of just the responsibilities that come along with being somebody's best man. And they're getting married in early 2019, so that'll probably be a big thing for next year's review. Sharper and I then just kind of carried on settling into our house, and then in April, we decided to do the kitchen up and like just rip it out, put a new kitchen in. It was something we wanted to do since we bought the place. We were like definitely changing the kitchen. It was very old, just didn't function right. Everything was breaking basically. So we did that. We started ripping the kitchen out in April. We did as much of the work as we could. We laid the floor ourselves. We literally gutted the kitchen ourselves. We did the tiling ourselves. We painted, we built all of the units and the cabinets and sourced all of the, the stuff that we needed and everything. And then just had somebody come in, do the electrics, do the plumbing and fit stuff to the walls. And the remodel involved the smashing a wall between the kitchen and the living room, which is a very, very messy, dusty and loud process. But do you know what? So worth it, it's done now. And all in all, it took five months from like the day we started ripping it out to the day we put that last bit of paint on, which felt so good, oh my God. Like five months was a long time and there was like two and a half months where we couldn't cook at all. And it was just, ew, like too many ready meals and takeouts and sponging off relatives, it was ridiculous. And then whilst we were redoing the kitchen, we found a leak in both of our showers. So we had to redo the main bathroom as well. It's been an expensive year. And then in June, 
two big things happened in June. The first thing, and the main thing for me personally, is I faced, like, my biggest fear. And Sharbra and I went on our first holiday abroad together, as a couple, like just the two of us. We went to Sicily and we stayed in this beautiful villa. We drove the least powerful car in the world up the side of a volcano, walked through a gorge. Sharbra fell in the gorge, she didn't hurt herself, it was funny. And I ate so much pizza, I turned into cheese. Basically, this is a really big thing for me because I've had anxiety over travelling and my anxiety over travelling all stems from a fear of feeling or being sick and just food and all of that stuff. And it's really held me back for like many, many years and going on holiday was like a really big thing. We'd been together for six and a half years and we'd never gone abroad, just the two of us, for a holiday. And the times where we had gone places, it had been very stressful, I'd been very anxious. Sicily was just amazing and my anxiety did not hold us back in what we were doing whilst we were out there and I actually enjoyed myself for once and my anxiety didn't rule over me for the entire time I was doing something that should be enjoyable. And it was enjoyable because I, it was just a great feeling. So like that was a huge thing to conquer. It's taken a lot of work on my anxiety. Shabra has helped me so much and I feel like 2018 was really a breakthrough year for me in terms of my anxiety. And then whilst we were on holiday actually, the first episode of the show that we'd been filming in 2017 and the one with the engagement party aired. I realised just how bad my hair looked and the power of editing. Not in a bad way, I'm not saying they edited us to make us look bad or anything, but just the fact that we intensively filmed with them for like two and a half months. Every day we got to know like the director really well and, so, and it was just like so intense. And then it's all smushed down into like a 40 minute thing. And you're like, oh my God, we filmed so much that wasn't in here. Then over the rest of summer, Shab and I went to a bunch of Pride events. We went to London Pride, we went to Trans Pride in Brighton, I feel like we went to something else but I can't quite remember right now. And it was the first time that we were going, it was the first time we went to Trans Pride and it was just like one of the most amazing things and the best Pride I've ever been to and I loved it so much and I actually can't wait to go in 2019. And it was the first time we were going to things like London Pride where we just went with friends and we weren't like involved in some way or working in some way or doing something, we just got to like hang out and walk around and enjoy it. Then from the end of summer we had a friend stay with us in our house, he stayed here for like four months. I I think he's one of our best friends and at the end of July we all joined a local gym and like committed ourselves and motivated each other to go four times a week and it's been over five months now and we have and like we've not actually missed that much we've missed a couple weeks here and there due to like colds and stuff and Christmas but like really been going very consistently and for the first time in my life I have managed to gain weight and gain muscle and I am within a healthy weight range now for my height, which is amazing. It's something I've been striving for for a long time. I used to weigh like just over nine stone, which is around 57, 58 kilograms, and I could never get past the 60 kilogram mark. I'm really sorry if you don't work in kilograms, but now I'm, I'm comfortably in the mid 60s in terms of my weight, and that just feels amazing, and I feel so much better about myself for it, and just the gym was a brilliant thing to do, and I love it. I've got the gym bug. And then more recently, Shaba started her PhD. Shaba is now a PhD student. She will be a doctor in a few years time and I started my second year of my PhD and the rest of the year since then since October has just been like PhD bits like just settling into the house more and more like it really feels like our home now properly and just doing YouTube bits and watching that grow and, and that is uh, 2018 in a nutshell. I'm sure I've missed quite a lot off but I think these are like the main big things that have happened. It's been a very busy but very good year full of like milestones and achievements and just good stuff bad stuff as well like it's not all been great but like the good stuff has definitely been the primary thing that's happened this year which is like something I'm very grateful for. I'm definitely looking forward to 2019 perhaps not looking forward to turning 25. I feel like I'm gonna be one of those people that has a quarter-life crisis. I'm gonna go out and buy a Vespa or something but hopefully you guys will join me for it and continue with me on this journey of life and YouTube and all of this weird stuff and yeah uh, if there's anything you would like to see from me over the coming year then please comment below and thank you for all the support over the years and I look forward to continuing this journey with you. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Here's all the best to a new year. I hope it's a good one for you all. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.